So for my first post-pandemic international travel, I went to Cape Town, South Africa. I took Singapore Airlines and flew Manila to Singapore to Cape Town via Johannesburg, and here's how it went. The first leg from Manila to Singapore was only 3 hours and 15 minutes, so the A350 was outfitted with the airline's short haul or regional business class product. This care kit contained necessary items, but for business class, it would have been better if it didn't take the place of the usual amenity kit. I absolutely cannot fault Singapore Airlines for the quality of their business class meals. The salads were fresh, the meat was tender, presentation was clean and basic, nothing grandiose or fancy like the Middle Eastern Airlines. Face masks were still required on board when I flew, and I was told that the only time I can remove my mask was when eating. So... The cabin was spotless, as were the lavatories, and their choice of toiletries were safe, neutral, and had a clean scent. Now we're on to the long haul sector of the trip, Singapore to Cape Town via Johannesburg. This leg had a flight duration of 13 hours and 55 minutes. Now even though this leg had the same aircraft type, the Airbus A350, the business class seat was much much better in terms of space, storage area, and seat comfort. I again have to talk about food presentation because it's frustrating to say that the food really tastes much better than how it looks. I wish they used bigger plates or dishes rather than have the meal cramped in a small plate. Nothing too exciting about the dessert, but again, it was good and I cannot say it was horrible. The cabin crew very nicely transformed my seat into a lie flat bed, and as you can see, the bed had a bit of an angle where my legs were skewed a little to the right. Nevertheless, I was able to get a good 7 or 8 hours of sleep, and then it was time for breakfast. Then we landed in Johannesburg, but those traveling onwards to Cape Town stayed on the aircraft. And just like a hobbit, I had my second breakfast on the Johannesburg to Cape Town leg, which was just less than two hours. Arrival into Cape Town has got to be one of the most gorgeous flight landings I've ever seen. And that was my trip! If you want to see the full review of this flight, click on the link below, and I shall see you on my next travels. Thanks for watching! Bye!